Hello everybody, this is Rockstar9 with another look at the top 25 most wanted LEGO sets, Countdown Until Christmas. Uh, um, and the set that I chose for the 16th is the main square, which you wouldn't tell because you've got ads for Zorro.com, Best Buy, and Cyberpunk 2077, or such as the game always is. Really annoying. Uh, anyways. Uh, I feel like I might have already mentioned this one. It's kind of hard to keep track, um, which is a pretty poor excuse, but uh, anyways, this is the set. Um, I really like the limousine and even the helicopter to an extent. Uh, there's a lot of vehicles, so they kind of are a little bit of unwanted uh, extra space. The, um, the transit unit, the one in yellow, um, it's also really nice. The minifigure selection is fine. Oh, jeez. Uh, Eva. Who is she? The application. Chrome Helper. I don't know what any of that means. Uh, then you got the town hall, which has got a decent little interior. Uh, the burger shop, which... It's fine. It's not the greatest in the world. Uh, then you got, like, the... Is that a graveyard or is that, like, a park? What is that? That's just a park. It looks pretty cool. Um, the transit unit, that is an awesome uh, vending machine right there with some cool sticker pieces. And the stand is fine. It's not great or anything. And this, this fire truck or whatever, that looks terrible. But I still, I still like the main builds of the set, like um, the town hall with the Limousine looks really nice. It's one of the better vehicles. Like if I've done in a while. Um, and that is that. The next one is the 1996 <laughs> uh, construction set Dig and Dump, which I think is one of the uh, better construction sets of the uh, older town theme. Um, the minifigure is pretty weak in the front. Just this section right here, like the missing part, looks a little bit annoying. But other than that, they nailed how uh, like the, the dump truck looks. Um, really like the... is that like a building technique? Or did they just make an entire piece for the back? They might have. Which should lower it down a little bit, I guess it's just one piece. Um, but, I mean, the seating area is really cool, um, I don't know what's going on with the- oh, they used one of those weird Technic stoppers that has, like, the, uh, engraved part on it that I still don't know what the purpose of that is. Uh, I really like the crane, I don't think I have that shovel part, the scoop part at the very front, um, and it's a cute, small little build, um, I just- I kind of like this set. I don't know why. Um, I was just looking at it for a bunch of uh, town city sets because I was working on my... Uh, wait, no. No, I wasn't. No, that, that was just when I was looking at sets in general. I was going to say that was because when I was working on my uh, LEGO buyer's guide, but I haven't been working on that in a while. Uh, because it seems that not a lot of people uh, have seen the first one. And then the one for today, the 18th, is the Bounter, Bounter, Bounty Hunter Pursuit. Um, this set is like insanely rare and also insanely expensive because it was like the only, um, what is her name? Um, I don't know. What is her name? The minifigure. The, the one that can change her face. Zam Wessel. That's the only Zam Wessel minifigure, which is a really good print, and it's like the, the double-sided face print. When they actually used double-sided face prints, that made sense. Uh, like, the first one was Professor Quirrell with his, uh, with Voldemort on the back of his head, which makes sense because there is actually Voldemort on the back of his head in the movie. Um, the speeder for, uh, the Jedi, I really like. I like the, uh, the engines at the front, which got some interesting printed pieces, maybe? Yeah, that's printed. And then they use 
the coffee cup piece in chrome, which I don't think that's the regular coffee cup piece. I think that's the Belleville coffee cup piece, if I'm wrong about that. Uh, and I also really like the colors going on there. I mean, the, the gray and the, the black is a bit off for it. Uh, with all the yellow and orange and neon green. Which also ties into uh, Zam Wessels, which is kind of weird considering that they're actually opponents. Um, and it's got that nice cockpit piece that I really like. And just the shape of it, it looks very cool. And uh, maybe it was, maybe me wanting this set is because of the uh, fantastic Star Wars early 2000s box art, or just early Star Wars in general. Um, and that's the thing, because I think that older LEGO has like a thousand times better uh, box art than newer LEGO, especially the uh, ninja theme. And I think, oh, and, uh, like, Aquazone as well, because they had, like, the actual set pieces in it, which I thought was really cool. Um, and yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.